With me now is a special guest, Donna Berry. Donna is actually the neighbor of the BTK serial killer, Dennis Rader. Thank you so much for being with us, Donna. Oh, thank you. Donna, it's very interesting. You knew uh, BTK, as we call him, Dennis Rader, bind, torture, kill, since you were four years old. You grew up with his children. Your backyard backs up to the Raiders. What did you observe during those years when you were actually a serial killer's backstore neighbor? Um, typically, a family man, when he was with his wife and his children, he was, an, he was just an all-around great guy, great personality, easy to get along with. But as soon as he put on that compliance uniform, it's like his personality would just change. You know what? That's really that interesting that you're saying that, Donna, because he essentially caught animals and turned them in for euthanasia. I mean, he was a dog yes. catcher, correct? Yes. I, I always he thought of like an evil officer. Barney Fife, that he had a little <laughs> bit of power. Uh, what did you observe? It's interesting you made that observation because I often wondered about his choice of vocation. You say when he put on his dog catcher outfit, his personality changed. Explain. Well, he would just go on a big power trip like he had a big chip on his shoulder. It's like it's my way or no way. Like he was the top of the law enforcement in Park City. And but he was a dog because, catcher. Nothing like that. Yes, he was the he was the dog catcher, compliance officer. I mean, he made sure your lawns were mowed, but he his main thing was to take care of, make sure we didn't have strays running around town and so forth. He had to make sure that I your think, lawns were mowed. I didn't know that. I didn't know anyone was in charge of that. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just, if your lawn <laughs> that, got too that's tall, that's a new one on me, Donna. Citation. Is it true <laughs> that you actually observed him shoot a dog? Yes. One day where I used to live, we had a bunch of neighbors over, a bunch of kids over. We was out in the front yard working on cars and whatnot. And the dogs across the street had the electric fence. Well, he didn't realize that. We all knew it, but he didn't. So he went to go mace the dogs to try to noose them and take them away. And the wind caught the mace, blew it back in his face. So instead, he just pulled out a gun and shot the dogs right there in front of the kids. I can't believe nobody complained. That's oh, I called. <laughs> good for you. Now, is it they, true that... He claimed uh, that the dog attacked him, and so that's why he shot. But it was because he got mace blown in his face. Is it true that uh, your friend saw BTK pull a 12-gauge on an animal, I think it was a kitten? Yes, up at the, at the city pool, he had... There was gray cats all the time up there. Little bitty abandoned kitten and a bunch of kids playing at the park, leaving the pool, saw him pull out a shotgun and shoot and literally blew up the kitty. You know what's so bizarre about this is, Donna, one of the traits of many serial killers, not all of them, is that they, in their youth, or I guess in their adulthood, attack animals and torture animals. And this fits. I remember when I first learned about BTK, I actually verbalized, I wonder if he ever attacked animals. And then when I found out he was a dog catcher, you're really putting the pieces of the puzzle together for me. Is it true that he led a Boy Scout troop? Yeah, both my brothers were in his Boy Scout troop. Did they the family joke is, is my brothers learned to tie knots from BTK. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's what we call gallows humor. How did he interact <laughs> with the boys in the Boy Scout troop? Great, actually. He was an awesome scout leader. And like I said, personally, he is a, he's a good guy. He was great to be around, excellent personality, everything else. It's just once that compliance uniform went on, it was like a split personality, a different person would appear. And you know, I believe that he committed a lot of murders in his compliance uniform, by the way, which fits mm -hmm. with your theory. Let me ask you this. How did everyone... At one, he was on the Boy Scout troop. Will you repeat that again, please? 
Is, yeah, one of the last murders, the one where the victim was at the church mm -hmm. where he used to attend, he, my brothers were on that Boy Scout trip with him. Oh. Let me ask you, how did the neighborhood react when everyone discovered Dennis Rader is BTK? Well, at first, the, what the word got out was that it was a bomb threat. <laughs> so everybody was kind of in a panic. And then once everybody started kind of getting more and more information and finding out what the situation was, it was just like, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you know, because most people knew him in his compliance uniform versus personally. And yeah. around the town, he just, he had that reputation that everybody was glad to see him go.